Uh, I am uh, an analyst at DevCop. Um, I work with PR Wordy since uh, okay. Um, the I will in each introduce the problem. Uh, local ver out devs on my on the client, uh, like uh, turco scales, thermal sensors, and then other things you can integrate with R R ERP. Uh, but these devs use COM parts or local network. But uh, the ERP are on the cloud. Okay, how how I you how you communicate with this de device? Um, native message. Where is it? Native message is a research of um, many uh, many browsers. You can make a plugin to communicate with local application. And the, this plugin uh, sends this message to your web page or ERP or other things. Uh, this advanced that you use this. Uh, Multiple operational systems supported, you can do it on Linux, Windows, uh, everywhere. Uh, very flexible. Uh, multiple programs language supports. Uh, you can do the native application on your preference program language, uh, like a Java, C Sharp, anything else. Uh, relatively easy to implement. Uh, it's not, not much complex. Uh, you can communicate with many devs according to your implementation. Uh, scales, truck scales, and thermal sensors. Uh, you need only the native application to communicate and receive information of this and send to browser plugin. This browser plugin sent to your RP. This answers. Uh, native clients must be installed on local machine. Uh, users can uninstall the plugin uh, and then others, these this advances according to your local operational system, uh, like is Windows Crash. How I implement it? Uh, do you need three steps? A native client, uh, write the, uh, which you prefer the language. Uh, I will prefer Java, it's the same language of the ADMPR. Uh, you need to make a native client according to API to nat native uh, messaging. Uh, this is sample in implementation in Java. Read and send message. It's very simple. Uh, the second step is the browser plugin. Uh, the browser plugin is re uh, will receive the message from native client and uh, send to ADMPR or your UEP. Uh, you need to create a simple browser plugin uh, have a sample of code in GitHub. And if you can implement in your ERP, your necess uh, I have a choice the to make a uh, editor. You can this uh, when click on this editor, you receive the weight from browser plugin. You as receive it from native client. And uh, to call bro browser plugin from ERP, you need to uh, need to of JavaScript. You call this JavaScript, and this JavaScript call the browser plugin will receive the message from native client. It's very simple. Yeah, I just want to be more precise uh, about some of the components that you have there. So your Java code. 
it's not an applet. It's an independent Java. Application. Yes, independent application. That's the first one. So you are calling that from a JavaScript component. And what kind of li library do you use in JavaScript to get the information from the JavaScript? Natural, uh, Natural Message API. Ah, that's the one. Yes. Okay. Is, is Chrome. Chrome. No, it's of Chrome and Firefox, uh, everything you have. Can you go back a slide that shows the user interface? So I think you just answered the question. That is a plugin that's backed by Java code? Sorry? <laughs> that is. Uh, this, this is a jitter on EDMPR. Um, like at this editor, when you click here, it shows this box, okay. and when you click here, this call to browser plugin and you receive this information for our a native client. Uh, in, your, in your native client, you will connect you to anywhere. You don't you have limitations? Uh, this limitation is our, our programming language. That, that, button, that button, when you click in EdenPR, communicates with the, yes. with the Chrome. Yes. With the Chrome plugin. Uh, <coughs> you, you communicate with the Chrome, which is. Browser plugin. Yes. This code to. Communicate with the Chrome plugin. It's very simple. What about the security? Because in the old times when we use applets uh, and we deploy those applets to the browsers, they were restricted to like in a sandbox in terms of yes. security. Yes. Uh, what, what would be the requirement, for example, if I, if I want to deploy this one in 500 customers? Because this limitation you need to use in native uh, message API. Uh, the direct browser. Uh, plugin don't you ask, uh, have access to local machine, but uh, using native native message you have uh, access to local machine which the native client, native client have full access, and uh, this sent to browse plugin is sent to your ERP. So the first time that we are running this application, is there any warning for the customers? No. That I am trying to access the local resources. No, no warnings. Full clean, no well, no warnings. <laughs> Sorry. When you install the Chrome extensions, maybe say it is not signed or something. We need uh, uh, to make a, a Chrome or Firefox station, like uh, but you could publicate normally this station, mm -hmm. and uh, no warnings show to user. Have you tried um, serial printer? <laughs> No, I uh, uh, I use it only truck scales, but it's connected as compart, serial compart. Yeah, one question was uh, when I uh, have it running in my um, Android phone. No, you, oh, this will only work on PC because the extension is only in PC. <laughs> the Chrome extension don't you have it for our phone. On, 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 on Chrome, yeah. on tablet, you don't have extension? Yes. But I can use a similar thing to access GPS in Android or things like that. Yeah, you can use, but um, you need to use JavaScript for communicate with local phone users. But your limit, lim uh, you, you have limitations. Uh, on native message, no limitations. It's very simple extension. You only need to. Only need to res register is this extension and access the local client.
Uh, is, uh, we were talking about the solution for some testing machine. But this solution ah. seems to be really great. Is there any security concerns? That could this uh, plugin be called from anybody? Yes. Uh, on, on this station, you can limit the, the access to only select edge applications and limit user to use this extension. Uh, you, you can use the natively security of Chrome or Firefox uh, to make extension secure. Thank you.